God says, I want you to love, but if anyone makes you feel less of a human, I want you to pray for them and depart away from them. It is unhealthy to remain in toxic friendships and relationships. I am with you, don't get scared. I love you. Dear God, I would like to take a minute, not to ask for anything, but to thank you for your infinite mercy that allows me to live another day and glorify your holy name. I am grateful for the love of our Heavenly Father, for your wonderful companionship, as I can feel you guiding my steps every moment and protecting me and my family with kindness. Amen. If God is important in your life, declare Amen. Lord, I need you right now. I am tired, worn out, and exhausted. I can't do this on my own anymore. I come to you right now in desperation for your grace. Instead of doing this all alone, I want to do life with you today. Show me how to move in the rhythms of grace. Thank you for taking my burdens and giving me rest. Amen. God knows what it will take. He knows the obstacles and how to remove them. He knows the plans he has for you and the best way to help you arrive. Stay close to Jesus. By this time next year, you'll be on a whole nother level. Mark that down, I'm prophesying in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray for strength and courage. I pray that you take away all fear in my heart. Help me push through on all the plans I have made. Don't let me be swayed by temporary obstacles. Let me follow through on everything I want to. Bless my endeavors and make them fruitful. I don't want to lose my glory because of fear. Make me courageous and victorious in all I do. Gracious Lord, Thank you for being with me throughout the day. Thank you for sustaining me and bringing me home in one piece. Thank you for your guidance and protection. I couldn't have made it through the day without you. As I am about to sleep, I pray that you, Lord, will continue to be my shield and protect me from any evil. Grant me a good night's sleep and wake me up in the morning refreshed and ready for the day. Amen. I love Jesus so much, he knew Judas was going to betray him and chose him anyway. He washed his feet anyway. He called his friend anyway. He knew Peter who denied him and that they would all scatter. Being a Christian doesn't depend on how others choose to live around you. My faith isn't derived from the faith of others, it comes from seeing and knowing Jesus' first love. And if I see him, I'm always okay. God is saying to you today, it's time for you to forget the past, forget the mistakes, and focus on what I am doing in your life today. I am doing a new thing. I am placing the right people in your life and removing the wrong ones. I am closing old doors and preparing you for new opportunities. The pruning process may be uncomfortable and painful, but know it's for your good. Say, Amen, if I agree. For someone, there is about to be a life-changing shift. Praise God now. He heard your cries and you're about to cry tears of joy. Restoration will be sweet. Get in your quiet place, your answer is here. Get ready for a beautiful heavenly encounter. Revelation 21 colon, For he will wipe every tear from their eyes, 
and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. Amen. Merciful Father God, I ask that you enlighten my eyes so I can clearly see all that I face. In this bustling world, enable me to remain vigilant and distinguish the distinct boundaries between good and evil. May your radiance illuminate every step of my journey, guiding my direction and granting me the wisdom to make the right choices. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Walk with God. Pray, believe, and receive. You've learned that when God says, be still, it doesn't mean. Don't move. Stillness looks like praying, preparing and planning for the promise God has for you while developing trust in the waiting. Developing a strong purpose in the unknown, it's that very reliance on Him you'll need to accomplish the purpose He's given you. Because, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10 9 I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, my soul shall exult in my God, for He has clothed me with the garments of salvation, he has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself like a priest with a beautiful headdress, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Isaiah 61 hours 10 minutes. John 14:23, Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. Lord God, you are my good, faithful, and loving shepherd. In you I can rest, trust, and live. You give me all I need. You renew my life and lead me along the right paths. Even though this life has dark valleys, I don't have to fear for you are always with me. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Psalm 23, 2-3 Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your father Matthew 6, 1. You might wish that things looked different today. Maybe you wish you were farther along by now. Maybe you're struggling to find things to be grateful for when things haven't gone exactly how you planned. Be encouraged today, God has not abandoned you. God has not left you behind. He sees you and hears every one of your prayers. Even when you don't see the results and even when it seems like the promise will never happen. Keep believing, keep going, and keep showing up. Your faithfulness will be rewarded. I pray that a safe love meets you soon. I pray that the author of love blows your mind with a spouse that fits your prayer life. You are so deserving of a safe and healthy love approved by love himself. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. 1 Corinthians 9,24-25 Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Tilda Matthew 28 hours 19 minutes Strong prayer, dear God, may you forgive my sins. I implore your forgiveness and protection. 
You are the source of my strength, and I deeply love you. Please bless my family and friends, and may your grace be ever-present with them. Grant me unwavering faith on this path of belief. If you love God and are not ashamed of him, declare, Amen. Matthew 7:21. Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. Romans 14, 10-12, 19 Why don't you judge others? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. 11 For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. 12 So then every one of us shall give account of thyself to God. 19 let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace, and things wherewith one may edify another. Proverbs 3,5-6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight paths. Lord, I trust you with all my heart. Amen. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father but from the world. 1 John 2 15-16